Hey there, big long consonant name guy. This is uh, CTB Ram again, and uh, sorry you're having problems with this. Let me uh, let me show you uh, again with an example here what that uh, keep faces together uh, checkbox should be doing. And I don't really understand any way that you could possibly get it to be uh, scaling the faces independently if that option is checked. Um, if I come in here and you go to uh, uh, Edit Mesh. At the very top is the option keep faces together. So you can turn that on or off before you do an extrusion. By default it should be on. So I'm going to show you with it with this box checked if I come in here and I select these faces and I do an extrude. Oops, I selected some faces through the other side. Z uncheck. Unselect that guy and let's do that again. Okay, so if I select extrude now with just these faces picked and I extrude. Oh, I must you see over here in the note in the uh, uh, see keep faces together is off in this poly node here. So I must have accidentally checked that box. If I come over here, oh, actually, let's undo that and see what I did to show that so you're not confused and thinking that that box is actually checked in it. Okay, see with these guys uh, scaling independently, if I go back to create or if I go back to I'm sorry, edit mesh, you see I accidentally turned keep faces together off. If I turn that back on there, it doesn't do anything. It has to be now that after I have the fact that I've created or done the extrusion, now what I have to do is go to the channel box, right? And in the channel box, you see there's a poly extrude node. And if you go to the bottom of that poly extrude node, you see that there's a keep faces together and currently it's off. Now even what I can do is I can change that in this node to a 1 to turn it back on and boom, that will fix it. I'm guessing what you did is you uh, maybe changed, the, uh, changed it to on in the, uh, uh, in the edit mesh. Thing. So I can turn it on and off here, and it doesn't affect something that's already been done. Uh, edit mesh. See, that'll only affect the next time I do an extrude. The only other way that you could have that box checked and do us an extrude, like say on these two faces, uh, and have them uh, uh, extrude independently. See, right now, keep faces together is turned on, so they're in, uh, uh, extruding together. The only way that this could happen where these guys would extrude independently with this option turned on, um, I don't know if my mo mouse is actually pointing to where it's pointing. The last video I recorded, the mouse wasn't pointing to where I was pointing at, but I'm over in the channel box and I'm on the keep faces together and you can see they're on. The only way that these guys would extrude independently if somehow this edge, these were two independent faces. They'd have to be two independent faces not connected by a single edge. So if you came in here and had your heads up display turned on, you get to that by going to display, heads up display, and turning on poly count. Um, if you have that turned on, right now you can see that I have uh, uh, four faces selected. So clearly I've got faces on the other side here, right? So if I delete those faces, unselect them and I select uh, just these two faces, you see I have two faces selected. Likewise, I can come in here and go to edge mode and just select that edge. And you see I have one edge selected. If I selected that edge and I saw two edges here, that might imply that I've got two separate faces, two independent faces, and so when I do the extrude, they, they extrude independently. That would be the only other way I could see that happening. So anyway, g give this a try. Make, make sure that after you do the extrude, um, look in the channel box and go to the poly extrude node right there's a couple here I'm going to go to this poly extrude node which is uh, that last one I did go to the bottom and make sure that you've got keep faces together turned on if you don't you can turn them back on and off uh, this is the one that it, it's affecting so you see if I turn it off they they extrude independently and if I turn it on they extrude as a single unified face. Hope this helps you out. Uh, and as I said, if it's still acting strange for you and you would like to upload the file, uh, I'd be happy to take a look at it. But I suspect it's uh, it's uh, it's just that it's it's still off in the actual poly extrude node uh, and uh, and possibly just on in the uh, uh, in the edit mesh 
tab.